Um, well, Abba Kiari uh, was a very simple person, a very humble uh, person, um, very smart, uh, extremely well read, and um, very friendly and, uh, and generous. Um, in his professional life, um, he was a man of unimpeachable integrity. And uh, it really broke my heart uh, at all the allegations uh, about corruption and so forth, because uh, he really was somebody for, who had no interest in uh, material things. I, I've known um, Abba uh, since uh, 1978. That's, uh, you know, 43 years. 1977, in fact, uh, 43 years. And, um, and that has been a, a light motif. That's been a central plank. Uh, of, of the person, um, not interested in, uh, in material things and um, caring deeply about the society, especially about Nigeria. He's a real patriot, uh, pan-Nigerian. You know, he, um, he made friends with Nigerians across all the divides, be they ethnic, religious, or whatever. Those things did not count for him. And um, our friendship um, was really built on our shared values, especially, you know, initially uh, political. We spoke about uh, politics from the day we met till his passing and about um, how we could transform Nigeria and, uh, and so forth. He, he, he really was somebody who wanted to uh, make uh, a difference and um, extremely loyal. Um, he, he gave everything uh, to ensure the success of Mr. President. Uh, he worked um, every second of every day of every week um, you know, to, to, to ensure the success of, uh, of this administration and uh, made enormous sacrifices that, um, you know, um, had an impact, uh, a negative impact on his health. And you could actually say that he paid the ultimate price, really, uh, for the, um, you know, for the benefit of this country, uh, for Mr. President and the people uh, of this country. He didn't have any great uh, uh, sort of personal ambitions. Uh, he wasn't um, interested in um, being out there in the public, getting public adulation, uh, but really staying at the, uh, behind the scenes and uh, delivering for Nigerians. And I think that um, in his absence, Nigerians will come more and more to appreciate uh, just what he has meant uh, for this country and for this uh, administration. Honorable Minister, I also can't imagine what you're going through, um, seeing as um, Nigerians may just be getting to know how close you were to him uh, in your tweet uh, tribute. But what would you say is your fondest memory of him? Well, as I said, you know, we go back a long way. We were students, um, you know, initially at Warwick University. Uh, we had a lot of fun uh, together. Um, and, um, you know, as students, we, we visited, um, you know, we had fun in uh, uh, discotheques and uh, parties. And, um, you know, we played hard. We worked hard. Um, he was, um, we we're very close to each other, you know, wherever we were in the world, we kept in touch. Uh, whenever we were in the same country, we visited. He stayed with me when I was in Switzerland. And whenever I was in Nigeria, we, um, you know, we got uh, to be together. You know, when I got married, um, you know, it was um, <laughs> quite an interesting um, experience for the, for the officiating uh, vicar because uh, myself being a Roman Catholic, marrying uh, from uh, Igbo, marrying a, a Yoruba Anglican uh, in Owo, in uh, Ondo State. My best man in the church was a Muslim, uh, Shua Arab Kanuri, you know, from the north. And um, the officiating vicar had never seen anything like that in his life. And, um, you know, when I, we had our first uh, son in Geneva, uh, a couple of years later, you know, he was uh, the best man at a, a Catholic uh, baptism uh, a ceremony. So he was somebody for whom, you know, um, the religious, as I said, religious divide, ethnic divide, meant absolutely nothing. And, um, you know, we had great moments. He has... Um, 
you know, uh, a serious looking uh, visage face, uh, but he had a wonderful sense of humor, you know, um, great wit and, um, and was full of fun and uh, a raconteur, you know, a lot of uh, stories uh, uh, to tell. And um, as I, we hit it off uh, immediately, you know, uh, within a, a week or so of, of meeting, uh, we bonded very closely, and as I said, for 43 years, um, it's been unshakable. You know, we've um, we've really been uh, very close. And our families are very close. His wife Kulu and uh, my wife Sulola, uh, very very close, and his children uh, also. Uh, we're all, um, you know, look at ourselves as uh, as one family. And um, as I said, he was my best man, and um, for me, he will always be the best man. I'm sure you were telling us, um, you know, what you believe, um, you know, a, lot, a number of Nigerians didn't know about him. But uh, perhaps quickly, did he ever discuss any major life changing moments, uh, perhaps that that affected him in a big way? Um, no, not really. You know, he was, um, he was an amazing uh, person. You know, what he always said to me was that he had never consciously sought anything. He had never consciously sought any position and that uh, every position he's occupied, um, you know, came to him. They came looking for him. He never lobbied for anything. And, um, you know, of course, you know, marriage is uh, always a life changing moment uh, for, um, for anybody. But, um, you know, I very often went to him because of all these allegations one would read in the papers. And, um, you know, he would show me evidence. I remember when the MTN scandal, and I went to see him and I said, but, you know, they're saying that you might have been involved uh, in making money out of this MTN fine and all that. You know, and he went and he brought me out the documents, um, you know, creating, establishing the committee that investigated uh, the whole MTN thing. He was not even a member of it. He said he took absolutely no part uh, in the whole thing. He showed me um, uh, a strong box, a safe in his office, where um, he put any unsolicited gifts, you know. Uh, he would put there, he didn't want anything from anybody. And, um, you know, he would tell Mr. President, this person gave me this, this person gave me that. And he just had no interest whatsoever. He just wanted to serve um, uh, Mr. Mr. President. President. And, um, you know, so his, his life was, um, uh, was really an, an even keel. Wherever he worked, be it in banking, or as a commissioner in the state, um, he excelled. Uh, he was very, very hardworking and, and very bright, uh, erudite. And, um, and I think I would say really that um, because having known him from, for 43 years and his, uh, his passion for Nigeria and um, that being appointed chief of staff and being given the opportunity to serve the country uh, was, uh, was probably uh, one of the most important things uh, uh, in his life. And, um, and I remember, you know, after the first uh, uh, mandate of Mr. President, he said to me, listen, Jeffrey, we never, uh, you or myself, expected to, to be in this position, uh, but we're here, we've given it our very best. And, um, you know, whether we come back or we don't come back, you know, we'll always know that we gave it 100%. And for me, that has been the most important thing. Right. Condole with you, his family and Nigerians to the loss of a, a statesman. We'd like to thank you, Mr. Jeffrey Ngema, the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Thank you for joining us on the News at 10.